Hello you, welcome to Geekism, sorry for the quiet menu, I forget it doesn't play music on there sometimes. How are we folks? Welcome, it's the 1st of May, it's May Day, happy May Day uh, to all of you. I know it's Flurm's Day, but it's also 1st of May, Flurm's Day the 1st of May, okay? So, you know, it is how it is. I uh, hope you're all good, I hope you can all hear me, all head and clear, we're loading in. Uh, I think I show up is my name at the moment, that's exactly how I feel, yes. First of Flames, exactly. Hey, how's it all going? Nice to see some of the regulars with us today. All the good ones are here. Uh, hello there, everyone. Right now on Iso Island is 1 p.m. on Friday, May 1st, 2020. Today's May Day. Hope you swing by resident services to learn all about our special May Day tickets. Uh, did you find any village yesterday? Yes, I did, Jake. You need to be following us somewhere on social media because it was all over there last night. But I did, and they should be in boxes today, moving in. So we'll go and check those out. Uh, we have a new friend on our islands. Give a big ice of island. Welcome to Stitches. Stitches, on behalf of our new island family, welcome aboard. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of the island. So we found Stitches, it, it, it took it took me four more tickets <laughs> to find Stitches um, after the end of the stream. I was expecting uh, a lot longer, but yeah, straight away, we got four, um, four more tickets and we got three randoms, randos, and then we finally got Stitches. So was he on your list? He sure was, Jonah, yeah. Yeah, he sure was on the list. Basically got him and then stopped and thought, there we go, all done, we've got Stitches. So Stitches, as it stands, is in uh, Nox's old house. He's not going to stay there because Anchor will eventually take that position. Um, one thing I wasn't sure about with Stitches, well, I wasn't sure about any of those we were looking for yesterday, is how, they, um, uh, how, they, how they're going to tie into the build, basically, how we're going to tie Stitches in. But I did start to do a little bit of work over here. Oh, no. Did I build that and not pay it off? Oh, I'm a moron. Put a, I was hoping that would be done today. It's okay. We don't need it done until tomorrow, actually. We'll, we'll have to go and pay that off in a moment. Um, this is running money in Wild World. Awesome. So here's Stitches. He has a very cute house. Does not fit with this uh, style at all. But Stitches will be in here. He'll be moving in. He'll be in boxes. Stitches, for those of you who don't know, he's a cub. Uh, villager. He's a very cute little teddy bear, but also like a very slightly creepy little teddy bear as well. Um, so he's here. He's got these little stitch patch eyes. Hey, Janty. Man, I took your advice and moved here as quick as I could. It's a real nice island. I bet my bug friends are going to like it. And I bet I'll meet more bug friends here. I'm going to finish unpacking today. You know, get the bugs out of their bug jars. Get my snack jars put away. Starting tomorrow. Let's play everyday stuffing. There he is. He's amazing. Um, he's adorable. He's a little stitched up teddy bear. Um, and we're going to redecorate his area or move his house? Uh, both. <laughs> so, spoke about this on the Discord last night. Those cross eyes. Oh no, they're cute, but they are a little creepy. That's kind of his bag, and I like that. Um, so we, we started off by putting this bridge here. We're going to lose this bridge. We've got a wooden bridge over here instead. Uh, basically cleaned it, cleared out the spa and also the, the outdoor museum is going to go as well. I was never really fully happy with that, let's be honest. Uh, and this whole area here, from the from the back of the resident services up to here, is going to become a new forest. Uh, and this forest is going to be... Um, what if Stitcher was a real bear, was hit by a car and then restructured by a mad scientist? That's I'd go with that. That sounds like pretty good lore. Princess Stitches crochet pattern while I was at work today. I'm going to make him over the weekend. Incredible! Sounds awesome. Sometimes I like the creepy looking character. I do as well. They've got a lot of character to them, right? Um, so we're going to build this into a forest. And it's going to be a sort of creepy teddy bear's picnic uh, playground-y type. Like overgrown playground forest, okay? And that's where Stitches are going to live. And then we're going to turn, um, we're going to turn this forest into more of a meadow for the, for the deers, okay? So... This is going to be cleared out a little bit. All the trees from here are going to move over into the forest. This is going to become more of a sort of flower meadow, flower and grass meadow. Uh, and it's going to look beautiful. And that'll be for the uh, for the deer. And then Audi is going to move up into the jungle, I think. Although wolf jungle doesn't really go, I know. But I haven't really got anywhere else to put out. Okay, so that's where we are at the moment. I don't know if you can hear that outside. Somebody sounds like they're doing some work outside. So I apologise. Deers, plural. Well, yeah, maybe. One at the moment. But, but I don't know. We'll see. Depends who we can find. Uh, oh, God. 
Oh, dude, what have you done to Sherb? Sherb's meant to be a lazy character. You are not meant to be working out. Thanks for saying hi. Hi, Sherb. Best part of taking a nap in the tree is how the tree puts you on the ground just before you wake up. So you fall out of a tree again, Sherb. Audi White, you're a bad influence on Sherb. What are you doing? I was like way into this walk, but then it started to get boring. Then I found you, and it's Fab again. Look, Sherb can't even lift it. Oh, he can just about lift it. I'm not too happy about Sherb working out. <laughs> Sherb hasn't moved house yet. No, we will we will sort that out as well soon. Uh, okay, nice. What's our uh, what's our uh, number five times one today? Decorate with flowers. That sounds very easy. I mean, that literally is all we have to do, so that's cool. <laughs> so we've got a few things to get done today, really. We need to start getting prepped for, um, for, for that new area. But first of all, it's May Day today, which means there is a new event uh, available. It's available all week, so don't worry if you can't get to play today. You've got all week to do it. It is a one-time jobby. One time only uh, kind of thing. But um, yeah, what we're going to do is head into... Uh, oh, Kix is here today as well. Let's just check if Kix has got anything nice. Uh, Kitty sneakers, clogs, uh, jester shoes. Pretty sweet. I'll take those because I have got. I think I've got the hat and the outfit now. I'll take some jester shoes. Sure can work out once in a while. It's good. It's good for him, yeah. But I just don't, if he starts talking about muscles all the time, I won't be happy. Uh, what do you think of the May Day event? I haven't done it yet, but I don't think it's. I think it's a little event, really. I'm fine with these little things. Color blocks. I'm gonna take some of those for the Jester suit as well. The clogs do look cool. Yeah, I think I might grab some of the clogs as well. Uh, I have. Kick, I seem to have kicks more than anyone else, to be honest. Kick, kick seems to be the one that seems to turn up the most for me. I'm buying them. There we go. Uh, our villagers don't wear the shoes you give them, unfortunately. Uh, okay, anything else you want to buy? Uh, nice couple of bags. Outdoor backpack. I quite like that. That might go with our hiker outfit. I'll buy that. May Day event didn't give you a May pole. That would have been awesome. Oh, yeah, that would have made sense. Yeah. I like bags. Always have when kicks arrive. I like the bags. I just don't really have much use for them because, like, apart from the explorer bag on this one and, like, the, the fishing bag and the tool bag we've already got, you know, I haven't really got much use for them. But, yeah, they're cool. Uh, I've had a good couple of days. I'm getting leave today. It's a very happy moment. Also, my 14 year old did the maze for me. Nice. <laughs> So, all I know about it, I haven't actually looked at, like, solutions for the maze. Um, all I know is that you get one go at it, and there is, like, a optimal way of doing it to get everything. But the everything you're aiming for isn't, it, like, it's a bit of cash. Like, there's not that many things to get, really, other than the, the prize at the end. Um, no backseat gaming in the chat, please. Um... I want to, I, we can we can discuss ideas, but don't know. I don't want anyone just saying, "Oh, do this, then this, then this, then this." Like that's you know, like you're taking the fun away from me. Why would why would you do it? Why would you do it? Never seen Skip before. Remind me of his grandpa. Always went outside with a noise boy cap on. Kicks is adorable. Ah, kicks is adorable little shoes and bag hang. Grandpa. Do, do. You can reset it if you are stuck. Yeah, so I hear, but I reckon we'll figure it out. I'm pretty good at this sort of thing, as, he's, as I spill water there myself. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this sort of stuff. Let's see. Years of playing Zelda. <laughs> I said it's Blathers. Ah, oh, that's awesome, Andrew. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, that's a surprise too. Yeah, I may. Oh, I'm not even listening to what he's on about. Um, sorry. Yes, yes. May Day is a day where we express our gratitude to those who work hard. Is it? Is, is that actually what May Day is about? There was a hierarchy of villages. Well, the 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 the, the community have made one. There, as far as the game is concerned, there isn't. I don't know why we celebrate May Day. Actually, let's have a look. May Day, public holiday, used to celebrate on the first of May. Yeah, it makes sense. Ancient festival of spring. Dances and cake, so it's just just bringing in spring, is it? A fertility festival or something like that, with, with it being spring, I would imagine. Uh, oranges, celebrations, early snow, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, one of the voice. Uh, see if there's a quicker sentence I can read. Yeah, fertility. Yeah, yeah. It's also called day of work. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard that before. I suppose it's like plowing fields and stuff. It's maybe got a lot to do with that. Uh, first of May is Labor Day in Norway. Uh, oh yeah, of course. About America, it's Labor Day as well. I suppose. Yeah. It's, I believe it's AC's version of Labor Day. No, no night. It's the rest of the world's version of Labor Day. Like, the rest of the world calls it May Day, pretty much. Apart from uh, Norway there. <laughs> and probably a few others. Uh, but a lot of the work, a lot of the world is just is classed as May Day, yeah. But there you go, yeah, Labor Day in the US, that makes sense. Um, International Workers' Day, I'm in bed. Yeah, right, I mean, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Labor Day is in September for the US. Oh, right, okay, so no, it's nothing to do with Labor Day. Okay, it's a special tour for island residents. Yes, yes, I call it the May Day Tour. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the recreational activities I've planned. So take this opportunity to hop on a plane, take a trip, and unwind after all your hard work. I left a May Day ticket for you at the airport counter. May 7th is the last day you can use it, so take flight whenever you like before the event ends. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Did you need me to repeat any of that? Nope. I'm good. Uh, it was changed to Workers' Day in the 1800s, but traditionally May Day is celebrated in the spring. Oh, there we go. Morris dancing. Yeah, right. Imagine if the village was Morris dancing today. That's a very, very British thing. And even then, it's not a big deal in Britain anymore, is it? I used to have a great uncle who Morris danced. Who, who, who is there? Is there, a, is there a term for Morris dancing? Who, who, Mora, Morris, Morist, he Morist. Melissa decides to go now. She says, bye, auntie. Uh, says, everything for your birthday wishes. Happy birthday. Have a lovely day. Eat lots of cake. Oh, who wants me? Flora in the cafe. How are you, girl? I've got a stain on my favourite outfit. Ugh. What do you do when things are just the worst? Well, this is what you do. Pouting. What do you mean? Anyway, use aggravation. Aggravation? Can definitely make you feel better. See, I'm all good now. Okay. Let's see what it looks like then. An aggravation react. Oh, he's angry. A little angry explorer. Thanks, Flora. Happy Flurry May Day. And same to you, Jordan. Let's go with friends. Granddad's Morris dancing. I think getting blacked up was the worst part. You couldn't imagine that now. Well, they still do it. I saw Morris dancing about two years ago. And it's not, it's not, I don't think it's a race thing. It's, it's a lot like cold dirt, isn't it? Is, that, is there a rare reasoning behind it? Good timing. I got a May Day ticket from Tom Nook with John C. written on it, which makes it yours. Sure does. Indiana, leave the dog alone. Uh, leave the cat alone, even. You're the dog. Uh, Say the magic words, I want to fly. So, John C., you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, I got a May Day ticket. So, just get the paperwork official. Where did you want to go? I want you. Indiana. Leave Oreo alone. Use May Day ticket. Ready to go on the tour with your May Day ticket. Sure am. Special trip to a faraway island. It's all organised by Tom Nook. I thought, wait, you there. You'll have to wait. But find out when you land. For this tour, you have to go empty-handed. Oh, God, God, go and put all that stuff away. Um, we'll be sh Oh, is he taking them off me? Oh, nice. So, want to stow your luggage and head out? Time for takeoff. But Oreo starts it. No, do you know what? She just she wants to lick Oreo. She wants to go over and she wants to go over and cuddle with Oreo. And Oreo's not quite there yet. He's getting there, but he's not quite there yet. Uh, in the video is very helpful. Thanks for that. You're welcome, Pizza. Thanks for watching. Um, I just finished the maze. And I didn't think much of it. Uh, I don't eat wrong, but couldn't be bothered to restart. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like I say, I don't. I don't think it's a big thing. Um. I, I think what we have to remember is that they never planned for this game to come out during a pandemic. <laughs> and I think we're kind of burning through content a lot more than they want us to. And these are just meant to be like little cool things to do for an hour, you know? I kind of hope you can't get it in one try. Why? <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. Stowed your gear back at the thingy. Okay, so I'm assuming we, we're we going to have to like pick up tools and stuff to, to do things then, seeing as it's once that bag is empty. 
Uh, we can use the rescue service. Yeah, we get our lives will reset things. If you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So, time to get going. Okay, we'll, we'll see how we get on, Wilbur. All right, so we've got lots of bushes. So, oh, Christ, I don't know what happened then. Uh, bushes on that side, bushes on that side. Can't get through either of those, but there is stuff. Oh, there's some sort of ticket or something on the floor there. And we have a hole there. And we have a tree. And we have a, uh, a thingy. So this is either going to be an axe or a, sh a shovel. Okay, okay, so this is a shovel. So we're going to uh, hold our shovel. So there's rocks that way. So we can't do that without fruit. I can't quite see what's that way. So I'm, I'm going to go how it wants me to go. All right, and see how we get on. So this is number one, right? So we can pick that up and we can jump over and we're going to get some apples. Ah, an apple. Okay. Is it an apple or is it? No, it's an apple. So there are tickets there. They're not Nook Miles tickets. I'm not too sure what they are. Okay. But yeah, it looks like that's the edge of the map that way. So there's those. There's three rocks there. So we need we need three. We need three fruit to get into there. And I can't. I don't really want to see what's down there. So I'm going to say that we eat this fruit and we use it to dig up that tree in front of us. Right, let's see how we get on. I'm just going to ignore chat for five minutes if that's okay, because I don't want it to get spoiled for me. So we'll we'll dig that up. Okay, now there's n I can't imagine there's any reason why I couldn't cover these holes up, so I'm going to cover that up. Okay, we have another hole here. So to the right there we've got a twig. To the left we've got another stone. So we can we can only go ah this is interesting. So these they're basically like they're forcing us into a direction, right? Because I can't go, I can't get that twig. At, at, well, at the moment, anyway. Okay, so, and I can't go that way at the moment either. So, we've got another tree with some more apples behind it. We can jump over here. Okay, we can come down here. Okay, so we've got some wood. Nice. Oh, there's uh, that's Rover. That is 100% Rover. So, for those who don't know, Rover was in the original game. Uh, you couldn't actually pick what you looked like in the original game. Um, you basically spoke to Rover on the train on the way there and he asked you a few random questions about like what sort of thing you're into and then your character was generated based on those questions. It was pretty crazy. Uh, okay, so there's a there's a DIY there and another apple and then another twig, another twig, another twig. Now I can go this way over those. Still can't come down them yet. Okay. So to the right we've got we picked up that wood and there's not much else at the moment but we can also go to the left here okay so what's down here oh another twig and another hole and this is how we get across to here now we could do this anyway though couldn't we i oh, know we couldn't because it came in that way okay so here's how we get the other twigs okay oh what's this a worn axe okay a worn axe. So what's a worn axe then? That's not a flimsy axe. There must be a separate, special kind of axe. Okay. So I want to... Well, really, we need... We can't get to that fruit there yet. And we can't get to those fruit or that twig. So how many twigs have we got? We've got four twigs. So I'm guessing it wants us to make an axe. But we can't make an axe until we've got that twig. But we have got a worn axe. So I wonder if a worn axe is going to do us... What was... Hold on. What was over here? Um, building a hedge maze. No, there is a hedge maze in the game. So we need, we need fruit before we can do that stone. Right. And that stone is going to lead us to... I'm sure. Didn't I see DIY down there? Or maybe from there I could see it. But now I can't. Okay. Right, I'm pretty sure then we need to use the worn axe on this tree to start off with to get this fruit. Oh, it literally does a tree. Right, okay. So that could have been wrong. But I'll, I'll take the fruit... And then, again, there should be no reason why I can't dig that up. If this is just a genuine shovel, 
should be able to pick that up. Okay. So now where we've got, we've got two fruit and we've got three wood. We've got four branches and a stone. Oh, there's some iron. So that's gonna that's gonna do us an axe as well, isn't it? So I think I think we need to dig up this then and get down to that. We'll see what that DIY is. That seems to be that seems to be the way to go. Right, so we go there and we've got and we've got a crafting bench down here as well. So we've got a couple of DIYs. I want another tree. So we've now got two apples again, flimsy axe and axe. Right, so it, yeah, it wants us to make an axe. Now we've already, I'm assuming it's just giving you those in case you haven't got them. I don't imagine they're any different to the ones we've got. Okay, so we've got two fruit and we've, so we've got the possibility of digging up that tree and we've got the possibility of, I don't, we can't, we can dig up that stone and get the iron. So we can get to the DIY thing and we can get the iron, but we still need one more we still need one more twig. So we've got to do this one then. This has got to be the next one we do to get that twig. Right. So I'm gonna just go for it. Okay. And that's give us a twig and it's give us two more apples so we've got three apples we've got five tree branches and we've got a stone so what's the wood for so we can't we can't carry on up there which which i think it looks like the end of the maze anyway up there Around there, past the apple, up to those, and out. Yeah, okay, so so that's the end of the maze. So the next the next place we've got to get to is down here where there's that where there's that iron. Um so we need to get all the way around here, I think. Let me just double check. Around this way. And then across these. Alright, so Uh, oh no, it's not. We were doing right anyway. But we, so we've got that stone there. Right, sorry, all the way back. <laughs> there we go. And now that way. No. That way. There we go. And then round and across. Okay. All right, we're getting there. So that's there, and then down this one will let us get to across here and we get to this stone where we can grab that iron. Okay, I'm gonna eat one. Okay, and grab that iron. Now we have everything we need now, I think, to make an ax, which means we don't have to use the fruit there to get that tree because I feel like we I feel like if we can if we can not use fruit that's better right so we need to go back around the block here let's go back around the block to there and then across these ones Uh, and then we can come down to here to the to oh we need to do this tree still. So we've we've got to eat a fruit there, haven't we? So dig that one up. I think. So now we can oops. I can talk to you. Should I craft something? Let's craft. I still don't know what the three woods for. Flimsy, ra flimsy branch, five wood and a stone. Okay, craft it. Let's do it. Okay, and then we need it to be a proper axe because... Oh, that uses three wood. I thought it was just an iron. Right, okay. Oh, that makes sense then. Let's do it. Uh -huh. huh. 
Why don't you dig the bushes up at the entrance? That looks like it's something to do later on. I'm just keeping an eye on them, making sure none of them look like spoilers. But um, I feel like that's something to do at the end. And I don't want to wear out the the um, the durability of the stone just uh, the of the shovel just yet. So now we have an axe and we have one apple. So I think we can come. We need to come back. We need to come back with this. So there's an apple. Look there. So that's going to give us two apples. I feel like I've messed up because I feel like we need three apples left. So I think I've gone wrong somewhere. I'm going to assume there was a tree somewhere that I could have cut. I don't know. Right. Okay, that goes down. We jump over. Come another. Oh, there is just one apple, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we've got two apples now. And now we can chop, chop, chop these. Get over. There we go. So unless there's an apple sat around here, I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Unless there's an apple sat around here, I don't think we've done it right. So there's four of these tickets in here. Let's just see what they are. Oops. Oh my god. Just dig that up there. You don't need any energy for those, do you? No, okay. And these are... Oh, bell vouchers. Oh, oh they're not... They, they only sell for like 3,000 bells, aren't they? Unless they're special ones. Uh, okay. We'll come to talk to you in a moment. I just want to see if there's an apple I've missed somewhere. Do, 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 do. No. No spare fruit. No, so I've messed up then, haven't I? Because we should have three apples to get those bell vouchers. Now, there's 15 grand there. It's not even worth writing home about. But part of me wants to say that we did it right. <laughs> um... You've dug up one too many trees. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? But I can't see where I could have missed one. There must have been one that I could have not dug up and hammered instead. Uh, and and uh, axed instead, right? Right. I'm going to restart it. I, I, we, we, let's, well, this is the plan for today. So we might, I don't mind having another go at it. We can. You reckon we could call res Resurgence services and it resets it, right? First time user, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the wrong tree with the worn axe. I'm guessing I must have done, yeah. I should have cut the one up the top there to get the twig first, right? Use the flimsy axe to get the top left tree. Yep. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. All right, cool. Well, I didn't do too bad on my own. <laughs> Take those 100, 100 miles. Cheeky so and so's. Yeah. Bum, bum. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Same thing, yeah. That tree stack right in the middle just looks very, uh, very pleasing, doesn't it? Looks very much like you wanna, you wanna hit it. <laughs> Only one way to find out. What the hell is going on? As we send back to it was, so feel free to attempt the maze again. Okay, if you get restuck. No, I think we're on. we're all right now. We're doing good. Okay, let's go. So, first things first, pick up the shovel. Hold that shovel and grab that apple. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He does tell you you can restart the, the dude down the front does. Um Orville. I never remember which one it is, Wilbur. A lot of them. 
So we've eaten that, and now we can dig that up. Okay. So we've now got a tree. So we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to get... And that's the one we break with the worn axe to get that last twig. That's where we went wrong all those years ago. We'll come down and grab everything else. Boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, boop. the worn axe okay, tree branch stick okay come all around here have we got what we need now for yeah okay so now we can use the worn axe on this that breaks Yes, that's it for the worn axe. It should tell you how, how long how many that should do, really. No, I don't want to sit on it, I want to dig it up. Boom. Bang. Boom. Right, so now we've got all the all the stuff to make the good axe now, apart from the iron. Because we'll get the wood now. So, we need the iron, and we've got fruit to get it. So let's jump over here, over here, over here. But we still ignore you. We need to get, we need to get down this way. Right round, whoop. Right round, and then down this one. Yeah, there we go. Cross, and then we need to use a fruit on this to dig it up. One use axe or three wax axe, yeah, three wax axe, <laughs> three wax axe would be really good. Yeah, one one tree axe. Right, we'll come back. There we go. Really, really great idea that the water makes you go one way. Like that's not that's not a mechanic they've worked on. You know, they figured that out and then made this off the back of it, which is really quite cool. Right, so we have one more apple that we need to eat to get you up. We can ignore them. Oh, and then and then we can't ignore that apple. That apple there is going to get this tree up. So now we can make. Well, I think the thing is, without those waters, let me say I still have my hedge maze. Without those water holes, like it's literally just find your way through the maze, right? Whereas that actually brings in like a sense of logic to it, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, let's craft. Let's make a flimsy axe. I hope there'll be more. Yeah, I could definitely definitely do some more of these. Three wax, very good, yeah. Doom, do, 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 doom, 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 doom. Okay, that's it. We've got our axe now. So now we don't have to worry about fruit for trees. So we come straight across here, and now we dig those, uh, knock those down. Sorry, that tree down. And get these fruit. There we go. And then there's one more fruit over there, and that gives us the three fruit for those stones. Cool. So we need to come across this one, which is done by coming around the block again. That way. There we go. So at this point, we'd only got one apple on us last time and we now got two and this third apple here is going to give us the three for those stones down the bottom nice that's it we're done cool 
The exact right amount of difficulty, I feel. It was a fun challenge, but not too easy. Um, not that you want to throw the switch out the door. Yeah, well, like I say, I mean, I we got through it relatively well. And one more go. And, and, and figured out where we went wrong pretty easily. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say it was just about right, really. Go, I have me a stay. And they found Sherb, and they were like, it's going to be a power move to leave Sherb. And they did, and then they regretted it an hour later. See, we kind of had the same with Marina yesterday. Luckily, we looked out with um, with stitches in the end. One, two, three, four. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to Rover last, just in case, like speaking with him ends the ends the island or something. We'll go around and we'll get our uh, we'll get our cold, hard, well earned cash first. Okay, so we eat all that three fruit. Did you get stitches on knuckles on? No, no, I used four more four more knock island tickets to get him. I just took four more trips after the stream. There we go. Well, for, for doing it on your second try. Yeah, there we go. Like I say, I'm a bit annoyed I made that one little mistake, really. I should have thought it's more beneficial to get the map. It should have been more beneficial to get the axe than it was. Like, I, I should assume that they specifically only gave us uh, the exact right amount of fruit. That's good, though. That. I enjoyed that. That's cool. million bells for it. Well, you know what? It's worth it. If it's, if you're happy paying for it, then it's worth it. Rover, hey, have we went before? You seem kind of familiar. Well, 20 years ago, I had horns coming out of my head on the number two on my chest for quite a while when we met. <laughs> this is his first time on this island. It's uh, pretty weird, isn't it? Um, what brings you here? Yeah, how did you get over here, though? Did you plant all the stones and stuff behind you? Tom looks at me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He told me to put together a very interesting attraction on this island, and I should check it out. Didn't expect to find a maze. What a surprise. So, you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? It sure does. They spelled sure wrong. Oh no, it's a pun. It sure does. Yep, it's amazing. Uh, no, you can't. If you dig up the bushes and bring them back with you, no, I imagine it wipes it out because it can't assume that you've got empty bags, right? Uh, I hear he's been putting a ton of work into that place. He's done sod all. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. I knew it. Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know. Thanks, Rover. All you island folks are this much fun. I bet Iso Island's great. It is. You got a name, by the way? Uh huh, uh huh. Chansey, eh? Great name, great name. Glad we met John C. I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. Woo! Awesome furniture, nice. So great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure, hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. See you, Rover. And it leaves us. It leaves us. Okay, what do we get? Uh, Rover's briefcase. Oh, okay, cool. That could well look nice on the wall of uh, on our walk of fame. I usually chat, but I watch every day, and I love having your company. Thank you, Anna. Welcome. You're more than welcome just to uh, to lurk there. I don't like the term lurk, but that's what we say, I guess. Put it on the rose, the music. Yeah, yeah, that's our memory memory lane. I think it'll look good there, unless it's, like, huge. I picked up the weirdest big hat yesterday. Uh, we got the money from there, didn't we? Cool. Yeah, that was good fun. I enjoyed that. Let's get into Smuggle. Yeah, don't open it. Ignore the white powder. Just take it back to Iso Island and let Tom Nook see it. Don't let the authorities see it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I just happened to be hovering around this island. And that God, God, he maybe he's making me smuggle. Dad, I was proud to deliver your prize to your home. One dilly of a Mayday tour, huh? 
squawk the word and we'll wing you back to your home hangar. Oh, if you're stuck grounded, lost. How much can I allies really send things? Yeah, I'm done. I want to go home. I'm talking to you. Nathan's voice vibe. Uh, Wilbur looks very mammy voice, yeah. Mammy voice. I look every day as well. I always get excited for streams. Awesome. Nutterin. Welcome. Finish working early so I get to watch more of the stream. Glad I get to watch you play through the maze. Awesome, Nicholas. Thanks for joining us. I mean, wait, what? Tell him what, what? In the butt. Any bell vouchers? You might have acquired one here. You'll find them in your bell box shortly. And that wraps us up. Ready for takeoff? Yep. So is every island the exact same layout? Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, others will have to tell you, I suppose. I'd have thought so. I reckon if they'd have given, if they'd have made more mazes, they would have let us done it more than once. I think. Well, it's exactly the same. Seems to be. Yeah. I uh, tried the maze earlier and gave up. Ah. Oh. Celebrating your victory because I couldn't. Oh, never mind, Hannah. Thanks, boys. So what have we got now? We've just got all of our other stuff back, right? So... Oh, he said they'd, they'd said they'd mail it, right? Yeah, mine was the same. Yeah, okay. Hey, Flora, I just got a briefcase. Are you proud of me? Let's see if it... Did they say it'd be next day in the bag? Or did they say it'd be today? Mail. Um, oh yeah, nice. It's already come through. Wicked. Thanks for choosing Dodo Airlines, the only way to fly. In close, please find any bell ventures we held for you during your recent Mayday trip. Nice. And also, thank you for your dog. Please find the prize you received from Rover. And if you have it lost, you get hair on your, on your tongue and you just can't get it. There we go. Uh, what would dodos do? Nice. Oh, it's still there. There we go. Um. Yeah, okay, good. Let's throw it away. Right, so Molly sends us some stuff. It's one of my favourite things so far. Maybe it could be for Stitch's area. Thank you, Molly. Like I say, we were talking on Discord last night about how it could work. Horrifying and maybe good for Halloween. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> uh, Nook Shopping. Uh, please accept our sincere thanks for your continued patronage of Nook Shopping. We'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful new seasonal offerings on stock. Please take a look when you can. Awesome. Let's head there next. Just join the stream. What's up? Hi, Sarah. We've just did our maze. That's the end. I wasn't fussed about the vouchers I missed. Not a big deal to me. No, they, they aren't really a big deal, but I just thought, I'd, what else are you going to do? It, it, I just enjoyed the the game, the process of it. I didn't do it because I needed the money. I just did it because I, I like to, I don't know, I'm a bit of a completionist, maybe. Um, uh, you know, it's a good way to know, get to know someone better. Send them a card like this. Let's see, where to start? Maybe I should tell you something about me that you don't know. Oh, I'm airspace. <laughs> Never mind, Jack. Bank of Nook, we got our end of year, uh, end of month interest. God, that really has gone down, hasn't it? 1,000, that should have been about, I think it was about 30,000, should have been before. Um, for the Villager Vision Board, can't wait until you get him, he's a hoot. For the Villager Vision Board, what does that mean? <laughs> right, so that's Bell Vouchers. That's a briefcase. 
That's a Papa Panda. Awesome. Yeah, that can definitely go down in uh, dingy places. A not a not mask. Oh yeah, that is horrifically freaky. <laughs> uh, oh, look at him with that. his glasses and his mustache on. He looks so weird. Get that back on, boy. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, oh, Pietro's poster. Awesome. Thank you. God, we're getting really good with posters. So next time DIY today, so you uh, so you can make as many as you want. Thank you, Zolana. Danny, a new kitchen table. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, Jordan sent some stuff through. Foosball upgrade. To Sherb, the star child. May you look on the outside as you shine from within. Okay. I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If it's a present for one of the villagers, I won't open it. But it better not be some crap, else she will be kicked off the stream. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Jordan won't have sent us anything bad. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go and see if Sherb's in. Doesn't look like he's home. Out on a snack run, because you are Sherb. I just realised that I'm going to have like five lazy villagers by the time I'm done getting everyone I want, which is pretty crazy. Oh, he's here working out, of course he is. Here, yeah, Norma is sick. Oh, I will go and say hi to Norma. Can I? This is yours. What are you giving me? I'm giving you this. Oh, I have to open it. Sorry. Sorry, Sherb. Just give me a sec. You have to open it. I'm just going to try and not look what it is. I'm going to try this without looking. It should be there. Oh, what have I given him? Is, is this really a space parker? My other clothes are kind of crusty. I'm going to try this on right now. Wow! That's intense. I mean, it isn't really the RPG look we're going for. <laughs> Um, but sure, what's he given me? An athletic jacket. Was this the one you were just wearing? Have you literally just took this off? And, oh, it's a different colour, I'll let you off. <laughs> um, okay, billiard table. Oh, billiards? Nice, that's like pool. Antique table, nice. And an infused water dispenser. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Zoana. I, I totally forgot to send you the fruit for this anyway, didn't I? This will, look, this will go good in the tiki hut. Cool. Okay, let's um, let's clear bags out just a little. Um, I'm wearing that jacket now in real life. <laughs> no one treats Sherlock like a king. He's a king. Well, he's he's a little prince. Uh, oh, barbecue! Never had one of those before. Uh, and a cherry and a bum box. A box full of bums. What's that? Is that just a TV? Wall mounted TV. 22,000 bells. I'll buy it. That can go in the diner. It's a nice, cool red colour. Um, barbecue. Let's see. I'll buy it. Let's see if you look good in the diner. There you go. You're thinking ahead. I'm going to take that cherry box as well. I'll buy it. Uh, and then I need to sell some stuff. Oh, that's all. I need the magic set. Oh, I've got I bet three of them. People keep sending them me. <laughs> uh, da -da. Okay, so bell vouchers. I literally just they're just for money, right? Um, and then these cherries. That's it, I think. Yeah, everything else is gifts. Sold. Shame you can't put TV on the beach. It'd be a good outdoor movie night. Oh, that would be a really good idea, yeah. It'd be nice if you put wall mounted stuff onto either like simple panels or uh, all of the side of cliffs would be pretty neat, I guess. Uh, okay, what well we got? Giant Trevally, uh, hit rocks, catch a mantis, catch any bugs, or chop wood. We'll bear those in mind as we move on. Hey, 
Jock. Okay, let's go and have a look what um how much space have we got? Yeah, we've got a few spaces. Let's go and have a look what Nook Miles seasonal stuff is in. They can get those boxes. Yeah, I didn't know they were just well, I suppose they must be purchasable, mustn't they? They're just random drop items. Yeah, I've got a couple there. I've got the orange one, I think a pear one. Uh redeem Nook Miles. Is it Nook Miles or Nook Shopping? Let's have a look. Okay, nothing new there. Excuse me, I've got a phone call. I'm just going to take that. Be right back. There we go, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so yeah, nothing, nothing. Oh, you can reorder the bell bag, that's interesting. Um, nothing new there, it must be in shopping then. Not shopping, let's have a look. Special goods. Uh, seasonal, a thank you, is that it? Thank you, mom mug. I'll take one, I guess. It's for Mother's Day. Oh. I'm from China, I have no idea what it is. We have to remember that Chinese food for English people is very different to Chinese food in China. Or food, as you call it there. Oh, the Samuel L. Jackson kits in today, look. Um, bear t-shirt, sporty skirt, rubber toe sneakers, and lullaby. That's a new one. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's it. How do you get the promotions tab? Promotions one is from um, the um, the the other game, the Pocket Camp game. You go into if you play Pocket Camp, you can go into there and go into the store, and there's like a free download code. Okay, let's put this. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just we're gonna have the uh, briefcase on here. Let's have a look. Where is it? Oh, there's a furniture item, right? Rover's briefcase. Hopefully it'll fit. Oh, there we go. It's a little big, but that's okay. That's nice. It's got all those stickers on it. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that can go there. That's another part of the uh, the memory lane. Um, so to go over these again, then we had Cherry Blossom uh, event. We had Bunny Day, uh, Fishing Tournament, uh, Spring Bamboo, Earth Day, May Day. Excuse me, folks. Sorry, I had a bit of a late night getting that fishing video out. <laughs> All right. Let's go and uh, clear out our bags. Anything new? Keep an eye out for those new buggies. Oh, the new book there. Oh, yes. Nice. Come here, you. You're worth a fair few grand. Take one of you out. Uh, that's that idea. What the memory lane idea? Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? We've got more mail already. From Tom. Please put this in your crafting room. Okay. A 
giant teddy bear. No, that's not going to affect your room. Interesting. Why is connected with Easter? Sorry, what's connected with Easter? Can't use my Mother's Day present. I've voted for a massage. Oh, nice. I will. Hopefully, they'll honour it. Um, when the time comes. Uh, okay, storing you. Uh, all these can go back in storage. So we need to go on the hunt again. Teddy bear can go away. Uh, oh yeah, look at this thing. I think this came from a balloon. Throwback hat table. What do you think that could be? It's a massive hat. I mean, what is that all about? Seriously. Table, apparently. I mean... <laughs> with a W on it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Gross, isn't it? <laughs> no, that was puzzled. I was like, a throwback hat table? I was thinking like it might be like a hat stand, a little table on it or something. It might cute it by the door. No, it's just a massive hat. Uh, let's have a look at the, t the antique table. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? Oh, that kind of works in here, though. Are we going back for another dining room in here? Because I've got the ironwood table to go down in the kitchen, but that is nice. Thing is, anywhere I put it, there's no going to be enough space. Anyway, I'm not doing interior di design today. I, we will sort that out another day. Uh, we'll put, we'll just do those two. Oh, billions! Yeah, let's go and have a look at those. I'm not messing around in this room today, though. Barbecue. I don't actually know where that's going to go. Cardboard box. I can come with us. What was that helmet? Oh, the no mask. Yeah, no mask. Because when you wear it, you go no. Anyway, that table might uh, make sense. It will be for sports announcers. Yeah. Or you could just use it like a hat, like if you're doing like a Land of the Giants type thing or something. I don't know. Uh, right, first of all, before we come down here, I want the I want our other pictures to come down here. I think they'll work better in here. Didn't even look at the wonderful bear gift. No, because it's off Tom. Uh, I don't want to keep encouraging his actions. Did you complete the maze? We did, Polly, yes. Uh, second go, it took us to get it perfect. I feel like we should only have posters of people that we own as well. But then I really love the Marina and the Bob one. <laughs> Crashing Thunder. Yeah, we uh, we didn't make that mistake, but we did use a fruit too early at some point. So we only had two left at the end, annoyingly. So apparently we've got a, an upgrade on the... Um, Upgrade on the table there, which is a billiard table. Uh, oh, that is loads better, because I actually quite enjoy pool. I'm not really a huge fan of uh, foosball. So we'll put that down there. Thank you. Um, we're probably better in this mode, aren't we? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, let me do that. Do -do -do -do. There. Bob. Arena. And we have a new one there, which is Pietro. Kind of like the idea of them going all the way around the room. Like, you know, like when you get to an American diner and it's got like the famous people who visited, you know. Probably weird as opposed to people and other people. That is true, yeah, to be fair. But you know, like when you, you get to like TGI Fridays and it's pictures like Frank and Archer up on the wall shaking hands with the chef, you know, that kind of thing. Or Frankie and Benny's. Um, Pietro is creepy. Pietro is number one. So I don't even know what you're on about. Uh, where's the TV going to go? 
Can go against that wall there. Can we turn it on? Can we not? Can we not turn it on? Oh, we're gonna be right up against it. There we go. Oh, we just a little jump up to it. <laughs> oh, you can, you can change the channel. I oh, know there's a there's an actual like time time uh, like a full time schedule, isn't there? Oh, so so you now you'll turn it around. channel. Thanks, Spirit. Cool. You can sit there and stare up at the sports while your wife sits next to you and you can pretend you're talking to her. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, those posters look good there. Yeah, we'll try and go around the room with them as we get them. That's cool. Good stuff. Pietro is the worst, and for anyone else, they absolutely should never have him on their island. But for you, Pietro is amazing, and I can't wait to see them on there. <laughs> Pietro is <looks> great. <laughs> has your main video been doing well? Yes, doing very well. Yep, yeah, doing as, just as well as the last one did, which is good. Uh, actually, we're going to be recording some Let's Plays of another game tonight as well, for the first time in quite a while. So we have a, a, a new game coming to the channel, which would be good. I appreciate all of you bearing, well, you won't be watching all of you, but I appreciate all of you been bearing with me. If you've not been too hot on uh, Animal Crossing live streams, but yeah, something new coming. Uh, antique hat stand. Oh, thanks, Tom. See, there is an antique hat stand in the game. That's what I thought I was getting when it said hat table. You know? Mm -mm. Okay, so it's a, what? Yeah, that's very good. That's a lot of effort to type all that out. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of effort to type all that out to make it look like it's. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of effort. Good though. Yeah, I appreciate that. See, there you go. A bit of effort. I don't mind a bit of effort. I appreciate a bit of effort. That's good. Yeah, cuddle duck. Goes in storage with the rest of them. Uh, food's for sale, I can go in storage for now. Uh, what's this we've got left down here then? Oh, that fruit cardboard box. We'll go and throw that out now. Okay. Your standard message, you replace the ending. No, when you when I think when you order something like that, it just posts that message. Do you have to type the whole thing out, or is it just you can you can actually change it? Can you? I knew it was a standard message. That's the whole point of the prank. <laughs> so we've got our farmer's market down here. This is where the uh, the fruit boxes can go. Oh, excuse me for yawning. Well, there's no room there, of course there isn't, because that would be good, wouldn't it? You can go here at the back. There we go. Right then, Fred. Let's have a look how we're getting on. We need to um we need to get things prepped for making the is that one of them banded ones? They are such a bugger to catch. It is as well. Watch how quick these things go. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oi. Long gone. All right. So, so here's the bit of a problem with decorating the island like this. I want those three fruit. Three fruit. If I shake it, I'm not going to actually get anything. Oh, there's another one of those. God, these. This was really tricky for me to find when I was jumping forward. Ugh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Either of you. 
quite good money. There we go. You should all... Uh, you could have jumped behind there, Mr. Apple. Ugh. That's really annoying. On the apples, because we're going to have to move some trees today. It's just one of the three. Nice. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, none of them. That's the problem with building up with flowers all around you. Dragonflies are crazy fast, right? Uh, here's one. This looks like we should be okay. That's not even the banded one. That's just a regular one. Darna. That's a Darna butterfly. Not a, a Darna dragonfly, not a banded dragonfly. Oh, what the hell was that I just picked up? A log stall. Oh, yeah. well, that should be enough apples. So we're going to basically pull out the trees in all of here and then see what it looks like, okay? Ooh, can I Petro for you last night? Too bad. I'm not easy working to get it. Yeah, no, Petro's yeah, coming. I've got the amiibo, amiibo coming for him. Thank you, though. To be honest, when I see the same food going every single day for a year, it gets a bit boring. I like it when we get menu updates. It doesn't, but it does get boring, trust me. I don't know what to talk about, but good. Glad you all enjoyed yourselves. Dum, dum, dum. There's an apple on the ground. Oh, well, well, be a nice surprise when we find it. Where was there an apple on the ground? Chauvel. Yeah, so this is going to become more of a um, uh, flower meadow. Clear it out and, and change up some of the ones. They, they've obviously like duplicated a lot of them, so we'll uh, we'll change some up. So let's catch part of the stream. Awesome, Sherry. Welcome. That's not what I was going to do. There we go. There's peaches on my island. Good stuff. So a stargate spot with only white and blue flowers. And now I want to do something similar. That, yeah, I definitely think trying to sort of colour color code them a little. Maybe not colour code them, but just get rid of some of the um, like the basic ones. Like we've got a lot of like red and white, and I feel that like we can swap those out for more interesting colours. Would be cool. Makes me hungry. I feel like John T will get filled up. Me, I'll never get filled up again. But yeah, it makes me hungry as well, to be honest. going at that bone in the background. I know, yeah. Sorry for the noise, by the way, folks. That is my uh, six-month-old German Shepherd with a bone. Uh, one, two. I'm tempted to leave. I think the fruit trees are probably better here, and the cedar trees are probably better in more of a sort of darker forest, right? So I'm tempted to bring a couple of, of fruit trees over here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
and dig up and dig up cedars instead. Let's go and see if we can find a few bit more easy accessible fruits. Oh, look at that. It's all the fruits I'm eating. Yeah, all the fruit the little dude is eating. I've got a blue rosebud. Oh, nice. That must have been a bit of hard work to get that. Or is it one of those really random chance ones? <sighs> Talking of which, we should go see how our green mums are getting on. Uh, no, I think the, I think the bamboo is going to come out as well. Yeah, yeah, it's not not right. So I'm going to I'm going to actually pull that one up and replace that with a fruit tree. Um, let's put some oranges in there. I think a couple of trees work, right? It's really difficult to see what's going on. There we go. Nice. And we'll change that one for some apples. Uh, I might leave both of those there, actually. That's, that's pretty good. So here, I'm going to take this one out. Uh, replace this one. It was at the last of my uh, three apples, was it? Okay. I'm trying, where I'm, I'm trying to think where this apple tree is. There's one right in the middle. There's oh, Flora's having a snooze. This one. Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up then, lovey? I did. I'm sorry. Chancy. Let's talk. Thank you just sold the maze with some help from daddy after watching your video earlier. Oh, nice one. <laughs> happy, happy to help. <laughs> it's starting to brighten up a little bit. That's good. Sorry, I just I realized the other day I'm getting quite bad eye strain, and it's mostly from never looking further than the screen in front of me all day. <laughs> Can't get over her cuteness. I know she's adorable, eh? Blue. <sighs> Shadow, which means it's about here. Um, let's, maybe I should just get it there. But it's got nowhere to land. Oh, it's landed right over there. There we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. A loft bed with desk. That seems cool. Is that like a captain's bed? I used to have a captain's bed as a kid. Oh, wow, yeah, come out. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? Can you climb up it? Is it actually usable? So we'll we'll take this one out and replace it with a cherry. And we'll take that one out and not replace it. Pull them flowers off for no reason. And we'll take that one out as well. There we go. That was a kid. Yeah, the cat's in bed. It was ace. That was awesome. Okay. So, obviously, they need to come away. 
So really, yeah, too too many uh, yellow tulips in here. We need to get a different colour in here. I'm gonna try and fill, spread them out a little bit as well. Thin them all out. Um, not a huge fan of all the white lilies either. Problem is they are they're gonna spread, aren't they? But hey, that's what happens, I guess. There you need to go. You look like you could be an interesting colour. Are you just, are you just pink or something? Or just red? Oh wow. You almost look more interesting. I'm done. I'm gonna head there. Okay, that's an apple. See the types of flowers uh, you put under the trees because they like shade. Yeah, I'm quite sure I'm going to go that that level. <laughs> Just wanted to kind of open this up for now. Again, we might come back in here and do a little bit more of an arrangement or something when we think about it. But really, I just wanted to clear this out so it didn't look like a forest. So as that when we did do the forest, which will be here, it's going to look you know more sort of individual. So let's. Uh, the bag's full? Okay, let's go and get rid of those last few flowers then. Oops. So all these flowers are gonna go eventually as well. I don't I don't think the sort of style we're going for dictates flower bed flower beds. Oh that's nice coffee. Um, question, um, still kind of new, should I get a Nook Miles ticket or save my Nook Miles? So it's a really difficult question that because it depends on where you are in the game really. Like I'm at the point now where the only thing my Nook Miles tickets are going to be used for is, it, the only thing my Nook Miles are going to be used for is Nook Miles tickets if we ever need a new villager. Um, but there is some really great Nook Miles furniture uh, that you're going to want to decorate your island if you're still pretty early on with your island. So I'd say it's a pretty, uh, pretty tough one to call, but I'd probably say for now Maybe just hold on to him until you really figure out what you want to do. Uh, so tempted to uh, do the rock thingy. Do they spawn on flowers? They don't spawn on flowers, no. I am tempted to do it as well. I'm very tempted to do it as well. But I don't know. I want to get I want to get uh, stitches in and settled first because I don't want to sort of miss, miss stitches getting settling in before I time travel because I, I wouldn't be able to leave all the stuff there for days. We've done pretty well here. We've actually got three like right next to each other here, which is pretty good going. Okay, uh, enjoyed this. This is quite a fun build. This one, but and and kind of fits with with the sort of aesthetic we've got going on there to be honest but we just need somewhere for stitches to live Deidre's always got the zoom in. she's always legging it about she is she never stops Chance, did you ever get a decision on the house we um, we were unsuccessful with the one we put in for I think I mentioned this you might have missed it we were unsuccessful with the one we put in for but the uh, the uh, realtor has um, got another one that's almost identical that she's sure we're gonna get. So we're actually gonna have a look at it tonight. We're going over, we're going over um, when the stream finishes later. But it looks nice and she seems, the realtor seems lovely and she's really helping us out. So yeah, hopefully we, uh, hopefully we get some news soon. I thought Sherb was lazy, but Audi has him working out. I know, right? Way to get Sherb motivated. Audi can, could sell like, Sam to the Egyptians, she's so good at that sort of thing. Gets people moving. Good news. Yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll get somewhere. We're, I mean, we're not really in a major mega rush. The problem is, like, we, we're quite happy with where we are. Like, this is quite a nice apartment and it's in a nice area. Um, but we just, we really would like some garden space for the dog and for the um, for Xander. And that's the real big thing at the moment. 
So you just hit shells to no, just sell shell sell shells on the shore. <laughs> just sell shells. Any shells you pick up on the shore, sell them. <laughs> Start construction. Uh, hermit crabs that are kind of a shell. Flick or buy those. Mm. Okay. Seashells on the seashore. Yes, exactly. She sells seashells on the seashore. What was that other one we used to always sing when we were kids? Um, oh yeah, Susie, Susie, sitting in the shoe shine shop. All day long she sits and shines. All day long she shines and sits. <laughs> Susie, Susie, sitting in the shoe shine shop. Uh, it's hard to get real sense area from what I've heard from friends who moved there. Uh, they love it here because they couldn't afford property otherwise. Uh, who've moved to Nova Scotia. They love it here because they couldn't afford property otherwise. Oh, that's awesome. This is, I mean, we're just renting at the moment. Um, the rental market is, is, isn't very competitive, though, to be honest. It's a bit of a seller's market. Yeah. So I'm waiting for Johnson to mess up. I didn't mess up, though, did I? Oh, there's an angry ass butterfly. Let's get him. Or her. Yoink! Mayday Maze was brilliant. Yeah, it was good fun, wasn't it? We enjoyed ourselves. Oh, and a balloon as well. Why not? Why not? That last, that last one was actually pretty sweet. Embellished denim pants. Wow. Not so hot on the embellished denim pants. Denim? Demin? Denin? Denim? Do 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 do. <laughs> Messed that tongue twister up at the panto we sang last year. Talking about you just stop giggling. Awesome. 30k in it. Nice. You don't get them so often with 30k balloons. That's pretty good going. I love how I love how he slows down the further away you get from him. The little gyroid there. Say Dolly, I get I get horrible flashbacks. Things like those creepy cartoons. He looks a bit like uh, yeah, like something out of um, Cuphead. He's got built-in parking centre. Yeah. Hello, friend. <laughs> Okay, we need some more. And actually, Joe, you know I'm just going to chop the bamboo down. We don't need it. We've got plenty around the place. Very rarely use it. Probably will need loads of it when it comes to tiki bar. But for now, I think we've got like good stocks of all of them. Just joined. Hi, Sydney. Welcome. Oh my God, my dog, Indy. Can you choose something quite? Actually, don't choose something quite because it'll be some outfit or cushion or something. Keep chewing your bone. At least, at least while she's chewing her bone, I know what she's doing. As horrible as that sounds. <laughs> Final boss of, boss of Cuphead 2 will be Lloyd. Yeah, exactly. Are they doing a Cuphead 2? I wonder what difference it'll have. Finally got all my wax. Oh, did you go for it, Courtney? I'm, I really am temp tempted. I'm wondering if we just if we just keep doing what we're doing though, and just doing relatively like heavy designing, there's a good chance that we could we could dig some up and they would all naturally sort of spawn in the rough sort of area anyway, right? So, do two of you guys like live nearby or something? 
That's pretty cool. To you folks, excuse me. After we talked about that yesterday. Uh, Wait inside designed over half my yeah. See, that's what I'm thinking. Like, like a lot of our space, y you couldn't, it couldn't spawn anyway, right? Watch the video here to get them all in one spot, but I couldn't be bothered to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a long process to be honest. But I don't know. They're gonna do a DLC with Cuphead, but no clue about a sequel, right? sense. Even if it is watering flow, it actually helps make them high risk. No, I think it actually counts as being watered, but I like don't rely on it. They don't really do very much. John C, uh, I used to have a pair and say where Chloe lives. Oh, awesome. Okay, so there we go. Nice big area there. All of this is basically going to be Stitch's life. Um, let's go and pay off that bridge so that happens tomorrow. Look at these pair of idiots. Let's do that for a job. They quit. That's what my nan always used to say whenever she saw somebody running or or like working out or anything. They they were told to do that for a job. They quit. <laughs> Uh, take some money out. Withdraw. Pot's getting a little low. I'm going to take 200 grand out. Two, zero, 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 zero. Oh, is that just filled my bags? Right. Makes sense. When did you get Isabel? Um, I can't, I'm really sorry, I can't remember exactly. She just kind of rocks up one day. <laughs> it's when the resident services building gets uh, rebuilt. Got two well. Oh, that's what we've got to do as well today. We've got to put all the new May fish in the museum and the May bugs. I haven't done that because I wanted to do it on stream. I didn't want to do it before, before May. I have 639 bells in donations. <laughs> My village is helping. As much as possible. Pay the lot off. Thank you, villagers, for donating 600 bells. All the pay. Oh, oh, God, excuse me. All the villagers are poor AF in this game. Like, they're constantly running over to you and, like, will you please buy this jumper? That's all Sherb. I think I think Sherb might be like penniless though. <laughs> oh hey, you little pay. I don't pay them, they're not my they're not my workers. They wants to move here of their own accord. Uh Okay, that's getting built. So that area is all prepped near enough for stitches tomorrow okay so let's go and oh god we need to do something with all of these i mean like really i suppose we can put them in place but until i move the house i suppose we could move the house as well couldn't we should we do that oh no we can't because he's in boxes who's singing Who's singing? Um, excuse me. Can't do anything with the trees other than plant them. I'm gonna plant them here in like rows. We'll just have to redig them up tomorrow for when we want to put them down. Is 
the tunes she's about to start singing again. Did they are they working on something for my birthday? That's not a thing. Yes, there's space for that. Okay, is that all of them? Right. Company. Yeah. Let's um let's head down to get the new stuff for the museum then. That'll be fun. Feel like I've got enough space. Offload some stuff here up in the jungle. Which again is still very much a work in progress by the way, this jungle. one charge at me. I still haven't seen a scorpion yet. One of the ones I haven't got hold of at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, okay, Ammonite can be sold. A lot better with desk. Uh, no, I don't want to put that down. I want to, and I certainly didn't want to pick up that. Didn't want to pick up that sofa. Ugh. What about you later? Uh, bamboo lattice and rope can go away. Some bamboo can go away. Uh, those crazy Dolly Barton pants can go away. Agrias can go away. Stone tablet can go away. Imperial chest can go away. Wooden fish can go away. Uh, off there with desk can go away. Uh, Ammonite can go away for now. Gong can go away. Sphinx can go away. Apple a day can go away. Fossil can go away. You can all go away. I'm not interested in any of it. Gone, be gone, all of you. Did you manage to catch the Mahi Mahi? Not yet, no. I mean, obviously, we've got a whole month to catch it now. I didn't manage to get it in front of time for the video, and now I'll just I'll leave it till Nicola wants to try. But up here, Ooh, that's quite early to night times, guys. I feel like I could do with a little nap. Okay, up here. Oh, a little secret spot for all the mayfish that I caught. Mayfish and may bugs. We've all got to go to the museum. Let us go. In a village map? Yeah, they want. The villagers do what they like, they're not my property. Have you got the beige yet? Yeah, sure have. It was good fun. We enjoyed ourselves. It took us two tries. in the blue tub and like the bucket tub maybe the frog I don't know frogs in a cool little thing that's cool I might keep the frog from my ears today pond skater maybe pond skater is in the bucket <laughs> um this was the biggest new one, the Giant Trevally, but I think that's just in a regular one. Oh, that's in a decent size case. Like, like, yeah. So the Mahi Mahi is a little bit bigger than that, I think. I've caught two, nice. Which frog is that? Gives it to Swampy. I'm not giving I'm not giving a frog villager a little frog. <laughs> that's just weird. Oh, how about a service? Make a donation. I've got loads of stuff for you. Look at all this. Oh, I've got really tired. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Mm. 
I'm going to give my frog villager a frog. I know there's people who, who are giving their hamster villagers their little hamster. Let's go and see them in action then. Test for catching the frog. Isn't the text for catching the frog something like, is this a new villager? Or oh god, Swampy's actually in here. Swampy, listen. We've just donated a frog. I know it's weird. So one of these are new. Yeah, oh, that one at the back there, look. So it's Jewel Beetle. There we go. The Rosalia Batessi Beetle. He's new. Uh, sorry, get up. Where else we got? Where else we got? I heard that was an e butterfly. Very nice. Not too sure where you're on. Just flying around. Look at this. So lovely. What are you? Are you the violin beetle? You're new. Not too sure what you are. No. Still no idea. My mantis kicking off on me. I kind of want to see where the frog is. Finally, just got the. Finally, just got the frog. Like it, it's the first of May. <laughs> wow! Look at this place. It's awesome. Oh, the frog's in the in the little fountain there. Look. <laughs> See him? That's a big one. Look, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be in the fish room. No, because it classes as a beat as a bug. Oh no, it doesn't class as a bug, does it? No, it is a fish, isn't it? Of course, sorry. But they've just stuck one here anyway. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm talking rubbish. Um, I think I get mixed up because there are some fish in here, look. And I think one of them's got a koi carp in, but no, you're right, it's, it's actually classes as a fish. Right, let's go and see. Oh wow, look at the beta in there. That looks really good now, doesn't it? Goldfish, Popeye goldfish, Ranchu goldfish, Guppy. Oh, the next plaque. Neon Tetra beta. Very nice beta. Nibblefish, Rainbowfish. Angelfish, of course. It's weird because I reckon there's, there's cold water and tropical fish in that same tank because I don't imagine all those goldfish are cold because that, that goldfish is cold water but a beta isn't cold water there's a koi, there's a snapping turtle so yeah you would think maybe the frog's in here or as somebody else said there are tadpoles so nothing for there until next month I don't think I already forgot where do you get the beta uh, just in the rivers Clarissa during the daytime I think, is, it, is there a giant trevally in there? I think there is. Just one mackerel on its own. Oh, my, one of them is just in there. Little marlin tuna. Giant trevally. So, where's tadpoles then? Frog was next to the tadpoles. Are the tadpoles down in the corner of this little pond here then, are they? Oh yeah, there he is, like, hanging out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tadpole, frog. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. 
Real life ice fish are quite aggressive and have to be kept alone. And yes, they need a heater. Hellfish and such can also live in heated waters. It's not too crazy, yeah. I know bait fish should catch their own. I, I used to keep tropical fish. Have a, used to have a 120 litre tank. They don't have to be kept alone. They just have to be kept with their suitable others, suitable tank mates. They're very often kept alone because they're quite happy to be, but um, we, we kept better. We kept it better with all sorts of things. But yeah, I suppose I suppose you could just yeah you could have goldfish in a warmer tank. Uh, okay, so that's that done. Right, I don't. I'll be honest with you, I don't really fancy starting anything else major. I think I might go and get a little twenty minute shut eye while Xander finishes his nap because I'm feeling exhausted because I was up to about two finishing that food, fish and bug video if you've not watched that already please go over and head, uh, check it out it tells you all of the uh, fish and bugs that are new to me uh, give it a like all that sort of stuff really helps us out uh, thanks folks tomorrow Stitch will have moved in completely and we can start working on his uh, creepy little teddy bears picnic playground forest thing whatever you want to call it um, and May Day was fun, yeah, glad we did that. It's a nice little project, it's a nice little item for the uh, for the memory lane. Uh, until tomorrow then, folks, thanks so much for watching. Sorry it's been uh, cut a little short. Uh, love you all to bits, and I will see you tomorrow. Be good.